What is up everyone, Kali back here again with a new video. So today we're gonna be reacting to Casually Explained Dangerous Australian Wildlife tier list. I live in Australia, didn't know he lived in Australia. I'm a big fan of him, so we're gonna react to his video. He's really funny, but educational as well. So I wanted to watch this video just because I wanted to watch it. It's not just because uh, of the trending and stuff, because I'm trying to grow this channel, but um, this is actually gonna be fun to watch. So let's go watch it. But before we forget everything, make sure to like the video if you enjoy it at the end. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy it at the end. And don't forget to hit that bell icon now so you can be reminded when I release a new video if you subscribe or if, if you can help me out because I'm trying to grow this channel now. So um, if you enjoy these videos, just help me out. Thank you. And don't forget to follow my Instagram if you like music and I make hip hop alternative music. And sometimes I make rock music. I don't know, I just do I just do what I do. <laughs> so if you all like those type of music, go ahead and check me out. But if you don't, it's cool. I'm here to entertain. So let's get right to the video. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I went to elementary school in Australia, uh, primary school, if you will. Wait, so he doesn't live in Australia anymore. Is that what I'm getting? I don't know if I just slowed down there for a second. Am I slowing down? I don't know. I'm tripping out. But I don't know if he went to Australia. I mean, yeah, I didn't know, but like... <laughs> I didn't know, I don't know if he left or not. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments. And now that I live in Canada, I realize that there's a lot of things that North Americans don't take seriously about their day-to-day -day life at all. Like oh. constantly having to- Also, he moved to North America after a uh, lucky ass. Avoid the inevitability of an immediate and painful death. As an example, in North America, they teach you in school, it's important to eat healthily because you want to stay fit so you don't get sick and have a long life. And you're like, Okay, yeah, I guess. But in Australia, they make it very clear. Wombats have a top speed of 40 kilometers an hour, and the weak... W no, that's cat... Well, eh, maybe I didn't pay attention, but... <laughs> Damn, 40 kilometers... Hey, bro. I'm, I'm Usain Bolt. This thing is going to catch me anyway. I can't run that Be fast. Behind. Damn. So what other terrifying Australian animals are that will make you Ooh. glad that airlines are going okay. bankrupt right now? Uh, F tier. So first -tier. off in the F tier, we have all the Australian oh, animals that are right. actually just really nice and are in fact completely harmless. So next in the E tier, we have animals that look dangerous but actually aren't that dangerous. Echidna. Uh, in addition to being the inspiration for Guy Fieri. What do you mean actually aren't dangerous? Try touching that thing when it's scared. Why did that? Why did I say scared that way? Yeah. Um. They dangerous. Style. These guys love to cross roads. Not to get to the other side because they hate inflated tires. In reality, <laughs> they're actually extremely timid and will curl up into a ball if you threaten to take away their chaos emeralds. Uh, huntsman spiders. Uh, these and are probably the most no. common oh, variety God. of spider oh. where I lived and are usually about the size of a coaster. Uh, when you rub oh. your leg against your headphone cable, this is what you assume you felt. To be honest though, when you see one of them, you say, Ah! Oh, it's only a huntsman. Uh, D tier. No. Oh, it looks friendly. I know, I know. Just what they want you to think. Uh, Tasmanian Devil. Uh, I thought, I thought these little right. guys look like cute miniature dogs, and just like cute miniature dogs, they're completely filled with evil. <laughs> For their size, they have the strongest bite force of any mammal on the planet. What? Half of them have contagious mouth tumors. They spend their day walking the perimeter of their territory, looking for other Tasmanian Devils to dispute property boundaries with. Uh, koalas. Now, they might seem cute and cuddly, but don't let that fool you. Uh, there they'll be at the petting zoo, feeding the little guy some eucalyptus. Next thing you know, he drools on an open wound, and now you have to somehow convince your boyfriend that you got chlamydia from a koala. The trees. Uh, while seemingly inconspicuous, even the trees <laughs> yo, themselves... Yo, imagine getting chlamydia from a koala. Hey, yo, what in the world? That's crazy, man. Australia are dangerous because they're literally uh, always on fire. That's true. Why, you might ask? Well, take it's the eucalyptus here. tree. What do you get from the eucalyptus tree? Koala. Eucalyptus oil. Ooh. That's right. The trees are literally made of oil. C tier. I'm oh. going to just not go near Damn, that thing. Damn, that took me a while. Um, <laughs> platypus. Now, when North Americans see a platypus, they all say the same thing. Oh, oh. Beaver go quick. Oh my they God. couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> While beavers look at a body of running water and think, stop. Platypuses nice. instead think, here I will look. Waiting to stab your children with my venomous spur if they even think of coming close to my eggs. Well, no, because I have electromagnetic sensors in my big-ass duckbill. 
What? I'm not even joking about that. So anyway, uh, Great White Sharks. Well, these things can kill you easily. Almost every instance of one attacking someone has been a huge misunderstanding, and the shark has been very apologetic. <laughs> you imagine? Apolog sorry, mate. Thought you food for a second. Y'all good? I'm sorry. I'll pay for your hostage hospital bill, bro. <laughs> Look at his smile. Like, basically, every time, it's a great white thinking, hmm, a seal. I'm going to eat that. And then when they go and take a bite, they realize it was some dude paddling on a surfboard, and they feel really guilty for worsting their already poor public relations, so they quickly... Oh, Apparently, oh yeah, um, since I, I studied business, and I was doing uh, marketing as one of my units, and it was talking about this, these fins for a, oh my goodness, I went negative for a second. Um, <laughs> these fin thingy, no, not fins, these full body suits that can repel sharks, so... I'll be interested into seeing what it, I've seen videos of it, but I'm interested if they actually work. So in the future, if you see this video and you bought one of these, please tell me if it works, because <laughs> I was always interested. And back to the depths, hoping they won't get turned into soup. Kangaroos. Oh, yo. Uh, besides being absolutely kangaroo jacked, kangaroos have a giant ass tail they like to use to initiate drop kicks on unsuspecting. Oh, sure, women. bro. <laughs> well, they don't generally attack unless they're <laughs> aggravated. Funny. They can be very defensive of their offspring. So be very wary if they seem to have something in their pouch, because it's probably a Glock. <laughs> B tier. Calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> oh. It looks dangerous because it is dangerous. Uh, crocodiles. Uh, crocodiles are basically yeah, the Venus flytraps of reptiles. I'm pretty sure they don't even have the ability to think. It's quite profound, honestly. If they are a crocodile philosopher, I feel it would be like, <laughs> you must be patient in life. But when opportunity presents itself, you must sink your teeth in and never let go. Facts. Um, Mr. Crocodile, what do you do if you feel like more and more that opportunity is just slipping away? Then I get it with my spin move. <laughs> Uh, jack jumpers, giant ants with huge jaws that can jump like two feet high and are always angry. These things are in Australia. All right, I'm fly. packing my bags. We're going to Canada. For the bro. ones that can fly. If you get stung by one they of these, it hurts a lot for a few hours, and then you're mostly fine. Three percent of people are allergic though, and they're absolutely not fine. <laughs> Uh, scorpions. Okay, yeah, that's These guys suck about. because they're somehow I'm immune to crushing damage, but the good news is they're pretty dumb. So you'll walk into your bathroom and there'll be 10 of them chilling in the bathtub because they can't get out. Uh, even though they have three attacks, they can only hit things that are coming from the front. So are the best way of dealing with them is sneaking up behind when they're not looking and turning the faucet on. Trampolines. Uh, everyone in Australia has had at least one friend with a <laughs> shitty rectangular right. trampoline that has had all Double the protective bounce. foam eaten off by wallabies. At some point, you will get your entire leg lodged between the springs or have the whole thing crash through your neighbor's house on a windy day. A tier. Kills you. Uh, snakes. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, there were no snakes where I lived because I lived in a house. If you go outside, there are a ton of these bad boys Yo, just waiting to be This shit's going to be paranoid. On, they typically don't act like they enjoy it, but suspiciously seem hell to now. encourage. One of the most common venomous snakes in Australia is called the Death Adder. Yeah, death is literally its first name. Even if you're like, well, everything in Australia is upside down, so maybe it means the opposite. Well, guess what the opposite of Death Adder is? That's right, Life Subtractor. You just can't oh, win, they're always two shoot. steps ahead. That's smart. Uh, stonefish. Stonefish are a dumb fish with an even dumber design because even though they hate being poked by children, they nevertheless decide to disguise themselves as a rock in shallow coastal areas. Like, bro, everyone's going to want to flip you over. That's like hating the <laughs> microwave, but you disguise yourself as a cinnamon bun and then hide in the fridge. Uh, Final web spiders. Loves wearing functional boots. Redback spiders. Mm -hmm. Loves comfortable seating and a good postcard. Uh, Blue ring octopus. Oh. Shoots up to eight electric destructo discs at a time. Ooh. Drop bear. A carnivorous relative of the koala bear that's often we attracted bears to barbecues in the and other public cookouts. Has been known to plummet up to five meters from eucalyptus trees onto passersby. Has particularly sensitive hearing and becomes enraged upon hearing non-Australian accents or about American uh, tipping uh, culture. Its favorite food is Woolworth's generic sausages placed diagonally on a slice of plain white bread, but will also settle for hundreds and thousands on a thick coat of margarine. Hates Vegemite. I hate Box Vegemite. Box jellyfish. Uh, loves the beach, but is very predatory and has been known to lure half-naked girls back to their lair by offering them free henna tattoos. A lot of people think that you're supposed to treat a jellyfish sting by peeing on the affected area, but this doesn't actually do anything, and at the end of the day, you're just another weird guy paranoid, peeing on their daughter's leg. 
Um, Irakanji jellyfish. Yo, Along with being what? very painful, if one of these stings you, you can develop such a severe sense of impending doom that people <sighs> beg Sorry, their I'm doctor to just end their suffering. Uh, Telstra. Similar to the Irakanji jellyfish, they make you want to kill yourself. S tier. <laughs> it kills so everyone. Bad here. And also so happens true. to start with S. Kills everyone. Stingrays. Oh, really? See, I haven't even said anything about them yet, and you're already sad. S tier for sad. The sun. As a Tasmanian, I spent a lot of time looking at the sun growing up. Wow, and I remember getting really more and more me. freckles every year until I moved to Canada and then it just stopped. Which made me think, oh no, I was dying. The good news is I've heard that girls think freckles are pretty cute. And I, I'm sure this is because girls love bad boys. And when they see a guy with freckles, they think, damn, that guy's tougher than the sun. So yeah, S tier. <laughs> For sunscreen. So, seeing as we're all currently quarantining ourselves and are therefore naturally protected from both girls and the sun, Facts. and the virus thing, the only thing left to worry about is running out of things to watch on the computer. If you want to get it, um, make sure you use his uh, link. Shout out to him for making the video. That was a video. I actually enjoyed that. I'm quite paranoid now because my room has got a few cobwebs. Uh, I've been bitten by a spider before on my leg, but I think I should be fine. But that was the video, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, do not forget to hit that like, as I said in the beginning, hit that subscribe, and hit that bell icon because it helps me get into the recommendants, the recommendants, <laughs> recommended section of YouTube because I'm a new channel and that will help me out so much. And I appreciate if you do. So um yeah, and if you guys follow my Instagram for um, music, if you like my music, you can follow me on there. But if you don't, it's all good. Make sure you uh, message me on my Instagram, tell me, yo, Cole, I just watched your YouTube video. Nice. Uh, I think I'm freezing again. I need to stop moving, but um. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.